What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna keep learning how to create an amazing slider using Revolution Slider WordPress plugin in its version 6. Most specifically, in this video we're gonna learn how to apply a link or an action into a button using Revolution Slider WordPress plugin. In the latest video that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here, we did learn how to create a slider and create this slider from the zero, from the from the ground. We did add the single slider, a title, a subtitle, and a button and align it. And in today's video, we're gonna apply an action into the button of this slider. First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard. Into the dashboard menus, we're gonna click on Revolution Slider. We're gonna find the slider that we have created. In our case, it's the slider called Learn. We're gonna hover over the slider and click on the pencil icon. As soon as the slider loads, we're gonna hover and click or double click into the button, the click here button. It's gonna open the content editor, but we are looking at the action button into the slider editor tools. Click on actions. And it's gonna open the actions tab where you can select what you want to what you want to happen if someone clicks on the slider button. We're gonna start with a simple link. Click on the sample link and it's just gonna open in the right side of the editor screen the action editor. Of course, you can hover and move if you have more actions, delete or clone the action. We're gonna click, we're gonna use the sample link and action type. We're gonna post the URL, the link to the site, we're gonna select if you want to open in a new window or a, or the same window, you can choose a do follow or no follow and even apply some delay from the click action to the action happening. Let me save the change and as you can see, if you click on the button, you're gonna be directed to the amazingvisualmodel.com website. Simple and easy. In addition, there is no need to worry about saving changes into this tab. You're just gonna hit the X button to close it and save the slider. Now we're gonna delete this on click action and we're gonna make the on click action do something different. We're gonna scroll down if someone clicks on the button. Of course, you can add some anchor some, some link link into some page raw like an id to do a one page navigation i'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where i do explain how to use one page navigation and anchors you on wordpress but as you can see if someone clicks on the button, you're gonna move down to the page. Now, we're gonna see if it's possible to have more action in a single element, like on our button, we have the scroll down action, but if you hit at the add action to button two, we're gonna be able to add another action, for example, a simple link. So if someone clicks on the button, it's gonna be moved down and it's gonna open a, a new link. And as you can notice, there's a lot of options starting with this idea. Move down and open a link. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the amazing portfolio of Visual Modo WordPress teams on visualmodo.com, and I see you later! All the best!